Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. So let's go. I got into the 2800s with this team. Absolutely wild. Really, really crazy ride. Doing really well. Now, to start things out, I just want to let you know, I did actually hit Legend with this team back in Season 7, except I was running Goliath Stunfisk instead of Steelix. Uh, now, the team since then has technically received a buff. Wing Attack obviously has been buffed since then. Superior with Aerial Ace just got the buff this season. Earthquake, uh, when I was running the Stunfisk, I mean, technically got nerfed, but overall uh, a buff, and I think it's, it's, it's a pretty solid team, so... Yeah, I'm in uh, the 2800s now. I do believe I'm at 2831, 2833, something like that. 2830 somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take a look at um, the battles and you know the games I had uh, with this team. I really do like Steelix. Now, I don't have good IVs on the Steelix. I do want to build another one, but... Okay, going up against Alola Ninetales. This is actually a really bad lead. You would think, well, you have a Steel type. Wouldn't this be good? Well, even if they had Charm, it still wouldn't be great because... The Dragon Tail is double resisted. Um, and if you safe swap, like if I safe swap into Pelipper right now, they switch out. I'm going to have Superior on that lane. I don't want that. I'm actually going for the bait here and they call it. So really well done by my opponent to call that. Uh, I just realized I'm not wearing a hat, by the way. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, we can go hatless for one uh, video. But I do get to the Earthquake. No, not yet. Um, I think I shield this. I do shield. Yeah, really bad situation for me to be in. Um, but I figured I would get the shield here, and if they let it go, I could get Switch, because I think the Earthquake would be enough uh, to KO a Shadow one. Uh, but they do shield it. Well played. Nice calls by my opponent there. So I'm going to bring in my Pelipper right now, uh, and take this Weather Ball. Now, they are debuffed because I did hit them with Breaking Swipe, so I'm going to be able to take that a lot easier. Uh, but still really rough for me. I'm going to go ahead and commit a shield right now. Uh, my second shield... And my opponent is going to go ahead and switch into Sableye. I'm just going to go for the, the Hurricane. I didn't think they would shield and they don't shield. Uh, but it still doesn't KO. <laughs> so I'm going to switch out into Superior and go for the Farm Down right now. Um, unfortunately, my opponent will make it to an attack. But that's okay. It's going to be the return. Yeah, this is just a really, really tough game. Yeah, a Charm user in the lead. or Well, in this case, it wasn't Charm. It was Powder Snow. But you get it. A fairy type in the lead is really difficult, even though you're a Steel type. That would be the benefit to Galarian Stunfisk on this team over Steelix. So keep that in mind. I still like the Steelix. Um, but you're going to really struggle to Charm users, even though you're a Steel type. Or, or fairy types in general, right? Like Azu. Or well, you would struggle against Azu anyway, I guess. But either way, okay. Moving on, this is actually not a bad matchup, right? You are weak to the um, draw run attack. So I'm going to go ahead and commit the shield. Um, I charge up to, to Earthquake and throw the breaking swipe. You definitely want to charge up to it at least. You could go straight to Earthquake if you think they're not going to shield it. Um, but I went for the breaking swipe and it paid off for me. Uh, but yeah, as I said, this is not the worst matchup in the world just because you continuously debuff them, right? Um, and you do have that potential to go for the Earthquake if you want to. It's really your call. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go for another bait, and I do pick up that shield. Beautiful. So now I can just go ahead and go straight for the Breaking Swipes. Um, actually, could I have went for... I guess I... You know what? Instead of going for that Breaking Swipe, maybe the play was to go for the Earthquake. Because they do get off the drill run. It's not going to KO. Well, no, I guess if I didn't go for the breaking swipe, it would have KO'd. So, yeah, I guess going for the breaking swipe makes sense. They're still going to be able to win that matchup. But we do get shields down. And now I could get a healthy farm with Pelipper. But, no, they actually switch out. So, I'm going to respond with my superior. So, this is a great matchup, of course, with uh, for superior. And you can farm down unless they have sludge wave. Usually, they don't have sludge wave. So, I, j I don't worry about that. Uh, but obviously if they do have Sludge Wave, it's going to be unfortunate. I gotta get a drink of coffee. I didn't get much sleep. Uh, community Day is about to begin. I think you're going to see this the day after Community Day, but either way. I do get off the Aerial Ace into the Charizard. I get off two Aerial Aces. You'll love to see it. Okay. Frenzy Plant would be double resisted, so you do want to go for the Aerial Ace here. And now I have the Weather Ball on Pelipper. Blast Bird would not KO a Pelipper, but it would do a lot of damage even though you resist it. Uh, and the Sand Slash is coming in, and I could take uh, an Ice Punch and Farm Down. So unless they're at two, I'm going to be able to take this win. So yeah, I mean, again, if you go up against a Lowland Sand Slash, I mean, you have to stay in, right? I mean, you have to, you can't switch out. 
Uh, but I will say, Alolan Sandslash is tough for the team, but it's manageable, right? It's not... It, you can handle it. All right, moving on. Steelix into Magnezone. This is actually a really good matchup. You do heavily resist uh, the electric attacks. You resist Mira Shot. My opponent plays this game really well, though. Uh, as expected, because, I mean, we are up in the 2800s, right? Uh, so taking that foul play. I knew that was only a foul play. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and follow up and throw before they get to another foul play. Uh, this is not going to KO, but let's see if my opponent shields. They do not shield. So I do need to win switch, right? I cannot have Pelipa and Magnezone. Uh, so I have to shield this one. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and do just that. I wonder if I should have put in the Pelipa, though. Um, I guess that. So Pelipa would have been able to avoid the Magnezone and have Pelipa against Sableye. But I don't know all the matchups, um, to be honest. But either way, Magnezone comes in um, and... They're actually going to switch into their own Pelipper, so I would have had Superior on that if I brought in the Pelipper. So I guess this is fine. I'm going to be able to pick up a shield there, and I'm going to bring in my own Pelipper. Um, so my opponent is going to go ahead and throw an attack. It is going to be the Hurricane. I decide to call it... Um, mm. <laughs> Should I have called that? Obviously, it would have been nice to shield that, but if they weather ball, that would have been unfortunate. But it is what it is. Um... And, you know, I, I felt confident even calling that, right? Because I knew even if it was a Hurricane, I was still looking pretty good. Because the thing is, I could shield that Weather Ball, and Magnezone literally does very little to Steelix, right? Um, they actually bring it in now. So, I'm like, okay. I know that Pelipa is going to be able to get off a Weather Ball into my Steelix. I just have to make sure I could survive with my Steelix. So, I'm, because I know they have an attack. So I do misplay, I, I'm going to tell you that. I will talk about that misplay as we get to it. I'm going to go for the farm down now. I'm going to be able to take this one. I think they get to one more after this, actually. Uh, in fact, I know they do. Yeah, they just get to it. Because they got the attack debuff, they are able to get to this attack. Um, so here's a mis mis mistake. I was going to switch out immediately instead of trying to throw my breaky swipe to catch the move. The reason I did not do that is because I was concerned that they would predict that. Uh, and they would not throw their move immediately, but that's not the case they do throw. So if I switched out into Superior immediately, um, I would have caught that Weather Ball and it would have been more comfortable of a win for me. I still win it, but you can see why I made that mistake, right? Uh, but that's okay. I'm still able to take it. Well played to my opponent. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, going up against uh, a Lantern. So a Spark Lantern, really not a bad matchup. Um, but, I mean, it really depends because you are weak to the Surf attacks. Now, generally speaking, you, you, you do like throwing Breaking Spike first, but when you want to bait the Earthquake, or if you want to go straight Earthquake, uh, you do have to charge up for it. Um, but my opponent actually makes a really good catch into Lickitung. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Pelipper right now. Uh, this way, Pelipper gets to avoid that Lantern, right, which is really good. Um, and an attack coming in, it's going to be a Body Slam, of course. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and take it. They are debuffed. Um, oh, I remember this one. I remember this. Okay, so they're gonna throw an attack. Now, this could be another mistake. I don't, it's, no. Uh, I throw the Hurricane. Is that a mistake? Let me know what you think. Uh, because they do shield it. Uh, so losing all that energy is really bad. Throwing the Weather Ball would have been nice. And look at that. I tried to get to another Hurricane and I faint. I could have thrown the Weather Ball. So I, I thought I was pretty in trouble after that. But it's okay. It's okay. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this Earthquake. I still have Shield Advantage. Here's the thing, like, I have Shield Advantage, and I know Superior does really well against the Lantern. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and Shield this Ice Punch, or what I assume to be Ice Punch, and it is, in fact, an Ice Punch. Uh, so I'm gonna farm up and throw before they get to another move. Um, I'm gonna throw the Aerial Ace right now. And I, I did expect the Shield there, because I know that they know they don't want Lantern on my superior. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this one. I'm going to over overfarm. Could have went like one more, uh, I think. But I'm going to go ahead and throw the Aerial Ace right now just to KO it. Um, but here's the thing. That Lickitung has a lot of health left, which is not ideal for me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and overfarm, throw this attack right now, this Frenzy Plant, and this is going to... Uh, get it low, and I do catch the Surf, or the Thunderbolt, whatever they throw. I think it's uh, Surf, right? Yeah, Surf. I do catch the Surf on Steelix, which is good, and I do get off my Frenzy Plant. Now, 
for some reason, I remember talking to my chat about this. I did not think this friendly plot was going to KO, but it actually does, and I do take that win. I, I definitely could have won this a lot easier. <laughs> so definitely mistakes by me, but I'm still able to win it. Good game, well played to my opponent. Okay, moving on, we do see a Glide God lead. So this is actually not bad, because you do resist the wing attacks, you are weak to dig, but once you start to debuff them, you're doing neutral damage with the Dragon Tail and Breaking Swipe. You can shield the first one, there's no way they're going to bait the Aerial Ace. I would be surprised if they did, um, especially after that debuffed, right? So look at that, I mean, I, I'm getting it low. I definitely survive a dig, right? They're double debuffed now. So I can take a dig, and but they actually switch into Lake of Tongue. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and debuff it and then switch out. So let's go ahead and do that. So there we go, it is debuffed and I'm gonna go ahead and switch out into my superior. Uh, so I'm just gonna take these body slams, body slam number one coming out. Um, and able to take that and yeah, I mean, they're going to be able to get off another one, but that's fine. Uh, Frenzy wouldn't KO from this health, so it's not like I could throw it to prevent the body slam, right? So I'm just going to over farm it. And uh, throw that Frenzy Plant. Okay. And now I want that farm down. I'm not able to get it, which is unfortunate. My opponent does make it to an attack. Um, but they switch into Glygar, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the Aerial Ace right now, expecting the shield because Frenzy Plant will KO. Um, I mean, I could have thrown the Frenzy Plant. I, I think I was hoping to get off two Aerial Aces, but I was not I was not able to. Uh, but either way, I got the shield anyway. So I bring in my Pelipper, and I'm going to go ahead and take this attack. It's going to be Aerial Ace. I was thinking of ca trying to catch an Aerial Ace, uh, but no, I wasn't able to. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shield this one. And, and now I switch into Steelix to get ahead on energy. I know they're not going to make a dig now, and I do, in fact, get ahead on energy. So, out comes Dugan. Yep, I remember this game. Some of these games were crazy wins. I definitely made mistakes in this, but I'm not embarrassed of it, right? I mean, we all make mistakes, especially when you're playing a newer team. I mean, I've played this team, as I mentioned, back in Season 7 when I hit Legend, but it's been a long time. Uh, I think I've used this team again since, but uh, again, I, it's with Steelix this time instead of Stunfist. So, they are significantly debuffed. I think they're double debuffed now, right? Uh, Drovan is going to be enough to KO me, and I'm going to bring in my Pelipper right now. I'm going to be hit with an attack, but because they are double debuffed, I'm going to be able to comfortably take that. Um, and I have no shields, which is really sc scary, but they try to catch, uh, which is good. And now I throw the Weather Ball. This was a 50-50 call, right? So I, go I do go ahead and throw the Weather Ball, and they do shield it, and I can get off my Hurricane. You'll love to see it. I could have thrown the Hurricane, and they would have shielded it, and I would have lost. It could go either way. I don't think it would have been a mistake to throw the Hurricane if you think they're going to call the bait. It's 50-50. As my friend Kevin, who was in the chat, said, it's a 50-50 call. I made the correct call there. Uh, and I'm able to get that 4-1. Yes, as I mentioned, definitely made some mistakes, but that's okay. Um, regardless, 28-13. I had another set after this where I went 3-2, and then Q time started to get a little bit bad, so I, I just ended the stream. So yeah, I'm, at the tw I'm in the 28-30s right now, so really happy with that. Um, we'll see how we continue to do. We might drop before we hit Legend. We might hit, just make it straight to Legend. Who knows? Who knows? But either way, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.